Welcome back to video number two. This is the video where we talk about the working royals and everything that they've been getting up to because lately they've been super busy. So let's just jump in and cover everything, shall we? Let's go. We're going to start with Prince Andrew. They're saying that Andrew is back in the royal family and back in the fold simply because some pictures came up of him going to church with Princess Catherine and Prince William. Just because he was seen going to church, you guys, does not mean, you know, that the whole family was together in Scotland. They went to church. If you guys believe this man to be such a sinner, isn't church where he belongs? My goodness. <laughs> okay, moving on. Let's move on to Prince Edward. I hope I say this right. As the Duke of Edinburgh, he hosted Katakiro of Buganda and his delegation at his home at Bagshot Park in Surrey. Why he had this delegation at his home, we're still not sure. There really isn't a whole lot of information online. We only know that he did, but it looks like he has a beautiful house and it looks like everybody had, you know, a good time. All right, let's move on. Next up, but sticking with Edward, the Worshipful Company of Fuelers had some sort of a conference and a cadet there, her name was Chloe, got to meet Prince Edward. According to the article, his interest in their work inspired her to go into arts and work on her writing skills. Very nice. All right, moving on. We have the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester next from Friday the 13th through Sunday the 15th through the weekend. They were in Northern Ireland where they met members of the community and they looked around at the different stuff that they had. They visited the Ulster Folk Museum, which is what you see in the picture above where they heard more about their preservation of traditions and the museum was celebrating its 60th year anniversary. The Duke also visited the Railway Preservation Society at the Railway Museum. And while he was there, he put a steam locomotive back into traffic for the first time in 22 years. In the meantime, the Duchess of Gloucester met with Positive Impact volunteers while she was on a church pantry tour. And she also met some young people that have special needs who are getting support from the Live Life Well Be center. Then the two of them together met performers when they went to visit the Northern Ireland Opera. You guys already know I love these two. At their age, they're so dedicated to their work. All right, let's move on. Next up, we have the Duchess of Edinburgh, Sophie, Secret Weapon Sophie. She started her official visit to Tanzania. At one of her first stops, she met the chief medical officer, Dr. Mohammed Manguna, and toured an area that provides family planning services. She also saw the Center for Reproductive Health Services for Young People. And keep in mind, this may all not be in the correct order, but okay. Then Sophie, after doing all of that, attended a discussion held by Janista Magama, who happens to be the Minister of Health. She heard about how these countries want to have joint solutions to improve health services in the country. During this visit, Sophie is going to be focusing on women's empowerment, health, and agriculture. Now, she did visit this place in 2004, uh, the Prince of Wales visited in 2018, and she's supposed to stay there through the 20th. By the way, in case I didn't mention it, that health facility that she visited was funded by the UK. She will also be meeting the president of Tanzania. We know she's the global ambassador for the International Agency for the Prevention of Blindness, IAPB. We know that while she's there, she's going to see the work of um, international organizations, Sight Savers, uh, United to Combat Neglected Tropical Diseases, and the Alliance of Biodiversity and International Center for Tropical Agriculture. She's got a lot on her plate. She's also going to be meeting the president there and the president of Zanzibar, as well as Tanzania. I will try really hard to stay on top of the tour, but it sounds like she really has a lot She's going to be doing a lot. A big thank you, as usual, to Remy Lot Sauce for showing us everything that she was wearing on this first day of her trip. 
let's move on. Next up, we have Princess Anne. It has been confirmed on the official royal website that she is going to take a trip on October 17th to see an exhibition that is celebrating the Isle of Man's RNLI links. And also, apparently, the cathedral has been refurbished. She is patron of the cathedral, Isle of Man's multi-pound development appeal, and so she is going to attend a Thanksgiving service at the church in Peel. She also, it's being reported, is going to go to the All at Sea exhibition at the house of Mananan in a western town. The last time she visited there was in 2021. There is some talk that even though she's the patron, she's actually going uh, in the place of the king. I don't know if that's true, but okay, she'll have a great time. And finally, we are going to finish up with Prince William. He apparently has a favorite soccer team called Aston Villa. And on September 17th, he penned a personal message on X to wish them well because they were having a championship league match against the Young Boys squad from Switzerland, and that was going to take place the same day. Don't forget that Prince William is president of the Football Association, an avid soccer fan, and we know that he roots for Aston Villa. It's it's a regular thing with them now, the royal family, to post on X if he has something he wants to say about any of the soccer games. And of course, we also know that Prince George is also a big fan. It's He's like, William's passed his love down to George. And we know that they attended one of the team's games at home stadium in Birmingham in April. And they just looked like they were just having a great time. They are so adorable together. I just love watching the two of them together. Don't you guys? Ugh. All right. You guys know what to do. Hit the like and the subscribe button. Sorry about my voice. Then go down into the description box where you'll find the links to my Twitter, my Getter, my Rumble, my email, my Patreon, which is currently paused. There is a physical address, my Amazon wish list. For those of you who've donated to my coffee fund, thank you so much. Lots of you have this week, and I really appreciate it. And as always, you guys, have a great day. Oh,